Good morning. Uh, my name is Steve Reed, and I'm Vice President of Research for ADM Investor Services here in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, the purpose of this video is to give you, the Canadian farmer, an understanding of what the USDA might say today in their September 11th report, and also a brief outlook on the rapeseed market. First of all, as far as the report is concerned, we've got to go back to August uh, and remember that the USDA estimated the U.S. corn and soybean crop uh, a lot bigger than what the market had anticipated. On the day before that report, Soybean futures were at 971. Last night they're at 875. Corn was at 388. Last night it's 374. And wheat is 512. And last night it was 476. So going into the report, the trade thinks that the USDA is going to drop U.S. corn and soybean crops slightly. And they're also going to drop the 15 and 16 carryouts slightly. In the wheat, they could actually raise world wheat supply and stocks due to bigger crops in Europe and Russia. So the initial reaction in the market might be a little friendly, corn and beans, and maybe a little negative to the wheat. Outside markets, we're still trading China, and if the uh, economy is going to get worse, it could weigh on commodity prices, that could weigh on the Canadian dollar since it's commodity sensitive, and could weigh on rapeseed prices also. Uh, we've attached a rapeseed weekly chart from the Winnipeg Futures, and you can see that it looks a lot like commodity prices. A rally in June, and then we've taken it all off since July 1st. Um, three things as far as the rapeseed market is concerned. First of all, Oral World is estimating that next year, rapeseed production is going to be down from this year. And they believe that the prices right now are undervalued. They also, number two, estimate that China will take less rapeseed next year, which offers resistance to the marketplace. And number three, we were kind of surprised this past week when China stepped in and bought 100,000 tons of rapeseed oil. Uh, that was a surprise to the market and offered at least some support to the rapeseed oil. Expectations in 2016 is that you, the Canadian farmer, is going to plant the same amount of rapeseed as they did uh, this past year. And assuming normal weather, supply is going to be up. So in general, um, we look at soybeans, too much supply, not enough demand. Could say the same thing about rapeseed. And prices could be on the defensive unless there's a weather problem in Brazil or a weather problem next year somewhere where oil seeds are grown. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM and ADM Investor Services. And if you have any questions about the markets, please contact your ADM contact.